Hi everyone. When I finished my engineering degree, I had 24 back papers or backlogs, but I was desperate to go into an IIT for my master's degree. And I'm going to share with you the goal setting framework that helped me go through this. If you have attempted a goal before, you may have come across several other systems like the SMART system, uh, but the one that I'm going to share with you is more relatable and sustainable. If you have a goal in mind like any of these ones, then think about it as I'm going to take you through these following steps. Number one, define your goal. For me, that goal was to get into an IIT. At this stage, you will need to be a little more specific. So to be specific, I needed an All India rank under 500. Number two, drive. So drive is very important. Understanding some factors here will make the drive and intention really authentic. And authenticity is needed for sustainability. Who is this goal important for? Is it important for you or is it important for someone else? Is someone else asking you to do it? Now, I'm not saying that one is good or bad, but just understanding these different things will help you a lot. Sometimes you may be the type of person where someone else sees the light inside of you and they want to push you to do something. Or you may be the type of person who sees the light inside of you and you know that you can achieve something. This is really important because this will help you understand how long you can sustain the drive for. You must know that you are invested in this 100%. All your heart and soul is going into this. So for me personally, my drive for getting into an IIT was unexplainable. It was so strong. I was so desperate and I could do anything to get into an IIT for my master's degree. And this is what uh, helped me keep it sustainable. Ultimately, this goal framework is just a piece of paper, um, an idea or a process, and your motivation is what will push it to the stars. And that brings us to the next step, which is time duration. So in my case, I found a coaching institute in Hyderabad, which had a short term crash course of three months. And the actual entrance test was in three and a half months. So I had exactly three months to put all my energy and all my focus into this one thing. The focus was so high that I could do this in a short period of time. I could focus intensely for a short period of time. Now you may have different commitments or you may have something else going on in your life that you actually want to spend a lesser intensity but with more time. So here is time and here is intensity. And this will help you set yourself up uh, mentally with the willpower and the challenges that are to come. The next part is the how. So how will you do it? Be specific about this. And so your how is basically your plan. The coaching institute said that it's going to be uh, 16 hour days. So Monday through Saturday, I'll be learning different subjects for 16 hours a day. And even Sundays were a half day. So my plan was already set for me and I was ready to go through that because my motivation, my drive was so strong. And the next one, which is as important as everything else is review. So you will set up regular review sessions with someone who can hold you accountable. In my case, it was my study buddy who attended the same crash course with me and we would conduct regular checkups with each one of us. And we also had weekly tests. So as soon as you set up your plan, you will open your Google Calendar and start creating an event, a recurring event, and invite the person to that, uh, me, uh, to, to that event. So for example, on Saturday at 10 a.m., every Saturday at 10 a.m., you are going to review your plan and your action with this person. Even if it's through a phone call, 30 minutes, you know, ask that person to give you 30 minutes and you just describe what you did through the week. And this will help you reevaluate your plan. Are you sticking to your plan? Um, if you, maybe you can't do four hours per day, you can do only two hours per day. If that's a realistic um, number, then you will put that realistic number in your plan. So you can update your plan and regular reviews are so important to this framework. The next step is to visualize it. 
this can happen through many ways. You essentially want to dream about it and be obsessed over it. So I would suggest having posters on your wall. You can put posters of your uh, goal, if that's possible, up on your wall so that you can see it every single day. And this is this will again help you obsess over it. And there needs to be a good balance of visualize and plan. So your plan is going in uh, progress as you've planned it out and you are also visualizing your goal. For me, the visualizing was uh, I was in Bangalore and I just took a bus to IISC, Indian Institute of Science. I went, uh, stopped at IISC and I looked at it from outside. And it's on the main road, so there's lots of vehicles going by. But I could see the entrance, you know, and as soon as I saw the entrance, I just took a photo of it in my mind. And it was imprinted in my brain. There was also an event happening. I went up to the security person and I told him, there's an event, I'm just here to attend it. And he let me in. I just walked in and took, you know, I, f I, f I just felt so different walking in through the campus. So that was my way of visualizing and dreaming about this. So I, that's how I could also obsess over this uh, goal. And the final big piece that closes all this whole goal setting framework together is the reward. Now, the goal itself need not be the reward. And ideally, I think the goal should not be your reward because sometimes we are too focused on the goal itself that we're scared to go all in. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. You may be really scared to go to put all your heart and soul into this one goal. You know, you're just committing yourself three months, six months or one year uh, focusing on this single goal. And what if it doesn't happen? What if it doesn't work out? What if you don't achieve that goal? So this fear can actually set you back from even attempting the goal. And that is why I say that the reward should not be the goal. You should set a totally separate reward and reward yourself just for attempting and going through this process, you know. So for me, after a crushing three month, super focused, grueling and intensive crash course, I had two more weeks before the final exam. And I decided to take a one week break from everything. So I took a bus to a nearby town. I tried out the local street food and I just stayed somewhere. And after a week, I came back to my coaching institute and I continued my studies. I revised everything that I studied for the past three months. I rewarded myself with something that is not related to the goal. The goal was to get into IIT and the reward was a one week uh, travel break, new food, everything. And finally, after the exam, I was so lucky and so happy to see my result. So I scored an All India rank of 242. And uh, that's it. Uh, I hope this framework was really easy to understand and it gives you a different perspective on how to approach your goals. Thank you for watching this video. And if you need to contact me regarding your goals or reviewing your goal setting framework, then the link is in the description.